Bolwati Febalogun celebrates his 10th birthday. Bolwati Febalogun is Whiskey's first child from his first baby mama, Shola Ugudu. Bolwati Feb was born on the 12th of May 2011 to Whiskey and his first baby mama, Shola. And you know that 10 years, as in one decade in one's life, is seen as a very big deal to parents. I don't know that feeling, as in this child has really grown. Just 10 years, but it's a very big deal, and the celebration is not today. Bolwatife will wish you happy birthday once again. Though the relationship between this kid and this Shola did not last at all. This their relationship can be described as one of the most dramatic relationships ever in the celebrity world. Shola became pregnant for Whiskey at the age of 19 in 2010 and in 2011 both of them welcomed their first child which is this Bolwatife that is 10 years old now. And you know, this relationship, um, Shola's and Whiskey's relationship has not been smooth at all. It started by Whiskey denying being responsible for Bulatife's pregnancy. Even after giving birth to the child, Whiskey still did not have, want to have anything to do with him. And at the point, Whiskey's family came and asked for a DNA test. And Shola revealed all these things through the social media. She wrote and said so many things about how Whiskey abandoned her and their baby. And on that, she wrote, I guess it's time to stand up for myself and clear my name. I shall not be labeled a money-hungry whore, jealous or bitter, because I, Oluwani Shola, am not and will never be any of these things. For seven solid years, Ayodeji, I was so concerned about anything at all, tarnishing your image or ruining your career. Because I knew how much you wanted this. I was very aware how much work you put into achieving your dreams. And finally, it was all coming to you. I don't want or the baby to be the reason anything went wrong. Not only did I condole every single one of your misdemeanors and irresponsibilities towards your own child, your flesh and blood, Ayodeji. I had to put my life on hold in order to fill the void you deliberately created in your son's life for the humiliations and disgrace you put me and my family through, denying the child you knew in your heart of hearts was yours. Not only did you paint me as a desperate and an opportunist that didn't know what she wanted from life, but get pregnant for a celebrity to the entire world. You constantly called me all these names, knowing fully well what transpired between us, but I didn't mind because I know who I am. Definitely nothing of that sort, and I know there was a reason God put me in this situation. You and your family asked for a DNA test, for which my family and I, without hesitation, agreed to. This same DNA test that took you well over a year to show up for, Results came out 99.9% .9 positive. The child you knew was yours all along, but choose to deny to the world was justified. I know how everyone will expect to hear how things change for the better afterwards. I hope it will be too, but instead things got worse. You never wanted to do anything willingly until they literally chase and force you to. Every now and then, I watch you take credit for nothing, whilst I get all the bashing. I still did not mind. God was taking me somewhere. For every time I obliged you to please man up and perform your fatherly duties, you showered me with insults, called me names, called me all sorts of names, or blocked my number from call or messaging you, even said I was the biggest mistake you made in your life. Your family will come to my family house to see the child sometimes, bring in provisions and beg me to please be patient and that all of this is new to you and you are still trying to comprehend and with time you will grow up, change your ways and take up your responsibilities and that you loved your son, which as at then I believed, but now I know better. All fake. Okay, this one is a very long epistle. 
Shola really bared her mind out and how heartbroken she must have been. If you are a woman, you understand how far, as in what she must have been going through. Somebody as, as at that age, bringing up a child, and maybe that time she has nothing to do. And maybe her parents are not all that okay to take care of both her and the child. We all understand what she must have gone through then. And she even went ahead to say that Whiskey did all these things for their son. Anything that he's doing for their son is so that people will see him as a very good father. As in all those internet fathers now. He even tattooed Bolu, Bolu Atiface name on his body. But that one is not enough. It's not enough as in to show he's a boy. You need to show him love. You need to, he needs directions. And Shola even went ahead to claim that Whiskey is so quick to send shoes and clothes for their son. And that he even bought for their son a star boy chain and jewel, which he later came back and collected all the items. She even claimed that Whiskey most times turns down offers to come and see their son as and come and visit him. But the one time that he came, that the only thing that he could notice in their son is that is his accent, as in the way he speaks. And he said that he don't like the way this boy speaks. Then he opted to take the boy to America to go and stay with his half sister, as in Whiskey's half sister. One thing that Shola never denied is that no matter what happens, no matter what it is, Whiskey always comes through for their son. Though it may be at the last minute, but whatever is their son needs, and she asks of it, that Whiskey must come through with it. And finally, Shola complained bitterly that Whiskey is never there. On their son's special days, even on his birthday, like this is tenth birthday, he still was not there. So this is ten years in a row that he has not been there to celebrate his son's birthday. Even if he's in Lagos, he must find an excuse not to be there for the boy. But guys, we know that there are two sides to a story. Yes, we've heard Shola's side of the story, and for Shola to come up publicly to accuse Whiskey of all these things then you know that there must be some atom of truth there. And there was one time Shola's um, WhatsApp chat with Whiskey went viral online. And if you go through the, those um, chats on the WhatsApp, you know that this lady must have been hurting. She must have been so, so heartbroken and that she has taken so much from Whiskey. And even if Whiskey hates the boy's mother than Shola, the boy is innocent and you don't have to punish this boy because of what his mother did or because of the hate you feel for his mother yes money they say answer it all but everything is not all about money he needs his father's love his affection his attention his directions guys seriously i don't know how this boy will feel when he sees his mother crying complain getting hot or even getting to know these small details about his life, I bet it will kill him. No matter what you feel you're doing for him, no matter whatever you're giving him, it's not enough to remove the shame and everything that you're pouring on him. But guys, for me, there are many ways to avoid unwanted pregnancies. If you know that you don't want a child from a girl, or you don't love her so much for her to bear your child, I beg, use Rimboot raincoat or umbrella or anything you call it just to protect as in make sure that the girl is not pregnant for you you can do it you don't just bring a child into this world and kill their self-esteem with your attitude towards them and their mother with so much hatred i beg and guys if you don't know it's not only shalogudu that is complaining about whiskey his second baby mama binta also is complaining sometimes she threatened to sue whiskey but she stopped because they say his family members went and intervened on his behalf. But guys, let's be realistic here. Let's call his spade his spade. If this boy, Boluatife, will grow up with the mentality that his father never wanted him, that his father did not love him, that his father is looking at him as one of his worst mistakes, this guy will blame himself for his mother's misfortunes. He will always have it at the back of his mind that his father never wanted nor loved him. So guys, this is my own humble opinion. What of yours? 
<laughs> and for all those where they always compare whiskey than David Do in everything. We could not try to use this aspect, compare them all. Thank you. This is all I have for now. And thank you for watching. But please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red icon below and then turning on the notification bell so that whenever I upload any video, you'll be notified immediately. Thank you and stay cool.